Boys and girls, workout for Wednesday of this week. You have a strength session, okay? In your strength session, there are three components. There's three parts. We want you to move through those for load tomorrow, okay? Not for time, for load and for reps. Your first part, part A, if you want to call it that, okay? You're going to go through four sets of the following. You're going to perform eight reps of a single arm dumbbell or kettlebell shoulder press for max load, okay? If you've got a nice heavy kettlebell or a nice heavy dumbbell, pick up as heavy as you can for those eight repetitions. Once you've done that, I want you to take 60 seconds rest, and then I want you to go for eight reps on the other arm, okay? Make sure you're going through for quality. Make sure at the top of that rep, I'm punching my arm nice and high, bicep nice and close to the ear, the rib cage is nice and pulled down, okay? So we're nice and tight for our core. You're gonna go through four sets of that until you've done eight reps on each arm, total of four times. 60 seconds rest between your sets. After you've then had three minutes recovery, we're then gonna go into a superset. Now, a superset means that you're not gonna take any rest between exercises, so it's different to the first part. The first part, we rest six seconds between arms. Second part, we are gonna go into a superset. You are gonna go through 15 plate shoulder presses with your plate. So the last time you just used your kettlebell or your dumbbell, now you're gonna grab your plate, you're gonna hold it in that front rack position, press that overhead, bring it back down. Okay, I'm gonna do 15 reps of that. Once I've done my 15 repetitions, I'm then gonna go straight into a max rep set of push press. That's why it says AMRAP. We want you to go as for as many as you can until you can no longer keep that plate up off of the ground. So a lot of the following. I've done 13 shoulder press, 14 shoulder press, 15 shoulder press, straight into my push press. One, two, three, until I can do no more. Okay, if your plate is too easy, it's not heavy enough, by all means, add a tempo in, slow it down, make it a little bit harder. Remember, the longer you work for, the more time and attention you have, the more challenging it's gonna be. You're, again, gonna go through three of those rounds, okay? You have 60 seconds rest at the end of your set. You're then gonna take another three minutes break, okay? This time, you're gonna go through 75 plate thrusters, okay, in as little sets as possible. And again, we want you to move through for quality, okay, before you think about just trying to move through as quick as you can. That doesn't mean we want you to do it in 15 sets of five or whatever that is, okay? We want to make sure that it looks as good as possible in order for us to be able to get through those, uh, to get through those repetitions. Some key things that we're looking for, obviously, in the thruster, a nice strong front rack position, so my shoulders are nice and high, elbows are up. I squat all the way down, hip crease below the knee, I stand all the way tall, and then punch that plate up overhead, okay? That's your first part, okay, your workout. Your accessory work tomorrow, you have the following, we've not run up on the board. You're gonna do 10 to 15 single arm dumbbell or kettlebell rows on each arm. And I've forgotten what the second part is, so you're gonna have to read it on sugar one, okay? But I know there's some single arm rows on each arm. Optionally as well, you can run an 800 meter, half a mile, as fast as you physically can, okay? AF, AFP, as fast as flipping possible. Just one effort, go as quick as you can, see if any of you can get it under three minutes. I know there's some of you that have got the potential to do that, okay? Warm up, nice and simple, three sets for quality. We wanna make it look nice and easy as we go through it. 25 jumping jacks, we go up and down on the spot. Mind making sure that my arms are coming up overhead so we're warming the shoulders up. We're then gonna go through 10 sit-ups. If you've got a towel, roll it up into a little sausage, place it in the lower part of your back, just above the waistband on your trousers. That'll support your lumbar spine. It'll keep you nice and safe, but it'll also allow you to move a little bit quicker. You'll get a little bit bigger range of motion out of it as well. You're then gonna do five weighted squats, your kettlebell, your dumbbell, or your plate, okay? What we want you to do is we want you to hold a tempo. It's gonna be three, five, X, one. That stands for three seconds on the descent, a five second pause, coming up nice and fast, and then a one second break before your next repetition. So it'll look like the following. Three, five, X, one. Three seconds on the way down. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, Five, stand up, one break, and then back down into that next repetition. We do five of those. Once I've done that, I'm then gonna go through my Turkish get. We want you to do one rep on each arm, okay? That involves me going all the way down from a lying position. Same hand, same knee is nice and tall. I roll over onto the left shoulder if my right hand's in use, onto the elbow, onto the hand. I'm now sat up nice and tall. I push the hip to the ceiling. The foot comes through and behind me. I'm now magically at the bottom of a lunge. I stand nice and tall. I'm still keeping that arm nice and high towards the ceiling still, all right? Then take a step back, 
Same leg that I stepped up on, the opposite leg to the hand. Knee goes to the floor. I then hinge to the side. Hand comes down for some stability. Foot comes back through. And then I make myself all, or make my way all the way back down to the floor. To make that easier for those of us who are newer, all I want you to do is start at the bottom of a lunge. I want you to reach up nice and high with your hand. Hinge to the floor, get that hand to the ground. Stand up. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can add the lunge section in as well. This part. I step back down, knee to the floor, hand to the side. Okay? Again, use whatever you can to load it up, but make sure the arm's not bending and it's not going all around the place. A good challenge is to try and do it with your space. Okay? Let's see if Mike Foyle can do that with a hand tomorrow, or maybe what do it with Ashley. Okay? Let's challenge ourselves. That's your workout. You've got three components. Okay? Four sets of eight reps on each arm and your single arm shoulder press. Oh, sorry, it's push press. I demonstrated that as a shoulder press the whole way through. Push press. My apologies. Okay, then three rounds. That's what happens when you just finish the workout and then go into it. Enough burpees for me today. Three super sets of your plate shoulder press into your push press and then your plate thrusters. Okay, completely bad of me today, I know. Anyway, enjoy it and, uh, and I'll see you on the leaderboard. Well done.